Taskmaster. No! Hands together, he creates a balloon. Oh, yes. No? Yes? Yes? Yes. Welcome to Taskmaster. I am not the Taskmaster. This is the Taskmaster. Um, I don't know. The likeness of Greg Davies is pretty spot on. I don't know. What do you think? Shout out to Hasbro for the great Greg Davies action figure. If you want early access to my Taskmaster reactions, go to patreon.com slash FWCI. That's where they all go up. Make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. I'm going to react to every single episode of this season of the Australian version and the New Zealand version because apparently that's pretty damn good. So they will be coming in the future as well. Heaps of Taskmaster in the future of this channel. I'm very excited to get through all of these seasons. This episode is called Look At Me, which makes me think somebody's getting caught cheating. And I'm going to say that it is... Is it Hugh Dennis? Is that the, the, the dude who was, who, who was cheating very frequently in the first episode? So that's what my money's on. Also, if you like 8 out of 10 cats does countdown, uh, let me know what clips of those you'd like to see on the channel because uh, I've been doing, I did Carrot in a Box, I did Joe Lysa versus the Council, uh, I did <laughs> Joe Wilkinson's poem, but I'd love some more suggestions so I can keep some more reactions to that coming as well. But let's jump into it, everybody. Taskmaster Season for episode two, look at me. The comics are enduring task after task of metal testing madness. Task after task. I can't handle this many tasks in a short period of time, Greg. I've grown a beard. I shaved it off after last week's show. Yeah. Because Whoa. We'll Regrew it in a week? <laughs> I said that without a beard, you look disgusting. <laughs> you <laughs> you look dis like a disgusting adolescent. Yes. Me too. I'm with you, Alex. I've asked them to bring in their most boastful item. <whistles> OK, so the item you deem most worthy of boasting about... All right, most boastful item. The item that I'm most boastful about? Oh, this is going to expose my nerd roots something fierce. I think this is definitely relevant. My most boastful item is this. WWE Intercontinental Championship, which I won fair and square over a course of about six years playing WWF No Mercy on the Nintendo 64 with my best friend Jamie. I was using the Stash Man, my created character. He was using Charles Taylor, his created character. And we would wage war over this championship in the game. And then uh, I just bought it for myself and declared myself the all-time champion. Uh, when I moved into state. I have very fond memories defeating my best friend with my green Nintendo 64 controller. Yes, Jamie, it's my controller. It is not yours. This has gone on public record. The green controller belongs to me. I still have the green controller. It's in the cupboard right there. I'd show it right now, but I got a green screen, so it won't work. The green controller belongs to me. Sorry, this, I, I apologize, everyone. I apologize. This is an argument that's waged deeply between me and my best mate. I got off track. No, what's your boastful item and why are you boasting about it? I won the Sexist Man of the Year award. What? He did? <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Boys and girls find him sexy. Yeah. Fact. <laughs> There, there, it is. there it is. What did you do for the six years before you were meant to take it? What I did didn't actually do? do an exam. I just did of just... that level. Oh, OK. What? So this... What the hell does that mean? How, what kind of dodgy certificate is this? <laughs> Questions of level. Right. Of GCSE. Yeah, but it's a but hollow do... certificate. <laughs> Take Who that into a that? job interview, are you, and say, <laughs> when I was nine, I probably could have passed GCSE. <laughs> Best new ball, I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, all those awards for my guinea pig. What? Guinea pig or boar? If you won these awards with your guinea pigs as a child, it is impressive. When did this happen? <laughs> <laughs> I got a loser's medal presented to me by the manager, then manager, of Wolverhampton Wanderers. There it is, there. What a yeah, medal that is. That's a convoluted... 
Did you understand you... what we wanted? <laughs> <laughs> Fully grown adult exhibiting <laughs> guinea pigs, I know for a fact it's going to beat your end. <laughs> wow. <laughs> in recent years, is this selfie with the Chuckle Brothers. <laughs> okay, I don't know who the Chuckle Brothers are, but he's very happy in that picture with his broken tooth. What's the bet he said some smart ass shit to somebody and they knocked his tooth out? Fourth. It's the Chuckle Brothers. I... What? Wow, he doesn't give a... All right, Greg. <laughs> you shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> Put him last, I mean it. <laughs> do it, do it. I don't know why I'm putting Lolly in second place, because it's an absolutely worthless as a <laughs> That's the way it goes, life isn't fair. We all respect you, we all respect you. Yeah, this handsome devil's going in first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a fair call. That's a fair call. It has a bit of construction and a bit of sport. Ooh. Ooh, good thing Catherine Ryan's not here. She'd be bawling her eyes out right now. Oh, it's a basketball. Right, let's go. Who's going to harness their inner Josh Giddy? Oh, really? <laughs> you have to get on a treadmill and bounce a basketball? That'd be cool. Keep the basketball on the running machine for as long as possible. You may not touch the basketball or the running machine. Um, I'm just going to get some equipment. OK. Is that all right? Yes. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm at a loss on how I would approach this. A uh, prime example of the mum run. <laughs> Lovely. Can we see some action then? Okay, do you want to start with the fashion boys, Joe and Noel? Yes, uh, the fashion boys. The fashion boys? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> He's got heels on, man. I don't think this is going to work or not. <laughs> 30 seconds. <laughs> this is not going to work, man. <laughs> Why are they the fashion boys? I still don't understand that. Maybe run inside, grab a little bookcase, bookshelf, and pull it out and just park it right in front of it. Build some barrier around there. 3.8. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Oh, that's tight. 0.5. 0.5. 0.05, yep. 0.05. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when Alex corrects people. He does it in... That's like a part of his comedic superpower, is correcting somebody in this polite, absolute ball-busting kind of way. You know how you keep a ping-pong ball? Yeah. I do. What? That's... <laughs> I don't know. Hang on, Lolly's got the idea. She got... Oh, I thought she was going to put the ball in the garbage bag. That way she's not touching it. Lolly is great. She's like, I love how she does her tasks. Come on. Oh. 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 It's off. It's off. <laughs> the biggest regret of your life. Yeah, I, when I die and they say if you could do one thing again, this will be it. <laughs> you got a better idea now? What's your new theory? I want to hear it. Mel kept on there for nine seconds, and it would have been a lot more if, if you'd been better at it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Alex. <laughs> But we're yet to see Hugh Dennis's attempt. Can we see it now, please, Alex? Absolutely, we can. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's cracked the code. Chair? Yeah, I'd love a chair. I'll give you a chair. Yeah, How long is he going to keep it on there for? If you just keep it behind me, that'd be lovely. Don't touch the thing, though. Don't touch the thing. His feet are mighty close to that treadmill. Does that count as touching the treadmill? How long did she keep the basketball on the treadmill? It stayed on there four months until... <laughs> <laughs> Goes Lolly, Mel, Joe and Noel in last place. So there it is. It was a legit win. Well done. He's so crafty. I like his... I like his take on it as well. This is another great cast. That's like four in a row of great cast. Hey, Lolly's in the lead. I have a lovely creative task next, are we? Oh, yes. No? Yes? Yes? Yes. Creative task. All right, let's go. These are my favourite. Oh, it's a painting. 
<laughs> Every single time. <laughs> Only the paint and brush. May touch the mat, easel and canvas. Also, you must smile at the camera with increasing enthusiasm every 30 seconds. <laughs> in 10 another... minutes, your time starts. Is this another, like, one-off task for only one person? <laughs> this can't possibly be fair, then, because <laughs> my time was taken up smiling at the camera. <laughs> yeah, you can't do long-distance painting. Who would do in their right mind to do that? <laughs> Who was it? Was it... Was it no? Who's first? Joe and Lolly. <laughs> <laughs> Lolly is great though. She's probably going to do a good job. She's so like in it. Like, oh, you want, I have to do it like this? Okay, let's do it. seconds <laughs> he does look enthusiastic oh that was close holy shit Joe's looks pretty good <laughs> oh my god this poor bastard I counted 16 lovely smiles and four difficult poo faces. <laughs> I mean, you've got to say, Lolly's is not a huge surprise. <laughs> she was just a smiley face. Smiling, and he was stupid enough to paint from a distance. <laughs> that is incredible. I yeah, I agree. It doesn't look anything like Greg, but... Oh, the eyes kind of do. Yeah, I mean, that was absolutely crystal clear. Yeah, only the paint... Or the brush. Or the brush. We're allowed to touch the mat. Touch the mat. Touch the mat. Mm, what did you do, Hugh? Oh. oh no! Is he gonna? Is he gonna fuck it again? Only the paint or the brush was allowed to touch the mat. Okay, so you can't throw anything you feel like. Oh, it's like that. It's an out and out disqualification. Oh. No, oh. what does that mean? Does he have to leave? When I famously grew my hair all the way round my head. <laughs> <laughs> That's allowed to touch the mat, isn't it? That's what Catherine Bryan nearly did. Except she only went like a couple of rolls and then she stopped. Good work, everyone. A bit closer to the easel. Now, how's your art? Uh, really bad. I see what Noel does, because he, I have, in the last episode, he did really well with that pe uh, drawing, drawing task. Ugh, more mush mouth. Sorry, Greg. <laughs> Sorry, Greg. What did you do, Noel? Show this to me. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, man, they're both really good, but Mel's looks like... Pallid, big mouth, <laughs> no hair, for you, translated as a gibbon. I don't know what a gibbon is, but it looks like a, a freaky church um, painting or something. And that looks amazing. Yeah, well, uh, anything that shows me as a sexual gladiator is going to win. <laughs> uh, Zero, Because friend. he didn't understand the rules. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Lolly... I mean, you're very lucky not to be coming last. <laughs> <laughs> you're very lucky not to be coming last is exactly right. Oh. It's not that kind of show, is it? Oh, right, okay. Land the flower on the target. Land the flower on the target? Land it? Like... Oh, we're off. Now we've got to get going, haven't we? Wow, we've only got 20 minutes. Oh, man, this task looks really, really, really difficult. But I was going to say Joe, no, and low, but it didn't work, because Lolly's pronounced... But it looks like Joe, no, and low, but it didn't sound like it. Have you had a stroke, mate? <laughs> 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 Joe, no, and low. He was called Desky because at university... Yeah. ..he was... Yeah. ..that's what? I work quite hard. Desky, then. Okay, Desky. So you could bring, bring the target it. here. 
by down, down to there down and then to just here. go yeah. and then you just drop Boom. the stuff on it <clears throat> right man Hugh is really 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 crafty and he immediately looks for the loophole immediately I'd love to see him and Lolly trying to do a task together very good action Hugh lost the dark bloody hell this is tricky isn't it <laughs> she hasn't done anything. She's just there for like support. <laughs> no. And it would have. Oh. Oh. They're doing all right. You're both Oxbridge educated, I'm led to believe. Yeah. <laughs> so now, look, we can pass things down. We can pass things down this. Attach it to this with a clip. Do you think? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? They're going to do it like a flying fox style? Ooh, hello, friend. Now, what are you doing with a fox? Now they're going to throw the darts at the balloons. Oh, what about making it wet and turning it into like snowballs? I'm loving that. Hey, look, these will work. I think you're right. But, oh, I love it. Yes, scales. Oh. Yeah, but the weight is then not. Um, flour, the weight is also water. <laughs> We're not done. Right, time's up. If you could stop throwing things at the table now. <laughs> I don't know about this one, man. I don't know. If they win with no, you know, discussion about it, that's not good. And then all of a sudden, we've got three <laughs> lunatics just... <laughs> well, we were confident, and then we thought, let's throw a trestle table off. <laughs> Five grams of wet flour, which I then dried with my Bunsen, and that was 217... Thank you, little Alex Horn, for doing that. One other detail, they had slightly longer. I don't know if that's fair or not. Oh. Why? Because Noel meddled with my timing system. <laughs> what? <laughs> How did he do that? You pressed pause on it. I that. did not. You did press pause. <laughs> that was right. not me. No, I pressed pause. Oh, hey, Alex left the clock alone. <laughs> <laughs> Good tactic. Good tactic. <laughs> well, do not be ashamed of that, Noel. That was superb. They lose all their points, as do their teammates. <laughs> The parents get five points each. I'm afraid they do. That's the way it is. Okay, mother. No, that backfired. But I'm still glad he did it because it was worth the risk. Actually, no, it wasn't. You were definitely going to get caught out. Not good. <laughs> he doesn't like eggs. <laughs> get the egg into the egg cup. If you touch a piece of equipment that another contestant touches, ah. You will both receive a one minute time penalty. Per piece of equipment touched. Fastest wins, your time oh, starts man. now. I'd be getting the napkin that that rice is on, try and get underneath it. Get it in there that way, I guess. Could you just grab the napkin, pick up the egg and drop it in the cup? <laughs> done. <laughs> well done. I guess you can do that. What are you doing? Why are you touching everything? See you again. <laughs> oh. I guess that means no one. <laughs> oh my fucking god, how oh <laughs> Bread and the chopstick. Egg. The obvious combination. Oh my god. Without touching the egg or the egg cup. Okay. Oh. Nice. Nice work, Lolly. It's the sort of innovation you get from the youth. <laughs> As a young person using mm. a trendy product, blue tap, but you've never even heard of that, Hugh, have you? <laughs> Look, I mean, I've touched them all now. That's just. I... <laughs> oh, you 
see, that's good. That acts as a sort of bread glove. <laughs> yeah, even Mel figured it out. <laughs> good work. That, I really enjoyed that, though. <laughs> She's great. Whereas you got five minutes 40, and then it was three minutes 2.8 for Joe, three minutes 2.5 for Noel. But Lolly wins it with one minute 28 seconds. Yeah, nice work. Oh, look at that. Three people in joint first place. Lolly, Mel and Noel. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Lolly, Noel and Mel. To formally read out the task, if that's all right, I'd like, uh, I'd like Joe to do it. OK. What a great honour. <laughs> you can't use your hands if you want to pop that open. <laughs> Looking at the taskmaster at all times and with your arms always beneath your hairdressing smock, attach as many balloons together <laughs> as possible. Start attaching balloons to each other now. <laughs> oh, who was it? <laughs> it was you. It definitely was you. Look at me, look at me! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this looks so dodgy! One minute left, one minute left. <laughs> it looks like they're all just going to town on themselves. <laughs> Seconds. Not ready. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god. That might be the funniest live live um challenge task task that they've done. That was fucking hilarious. It's very arousing. <laughs> <laughs> See what Dusky's been up to under his smock. Can I just give you yeah, there? Yeah. What have you done? <gasps> Jesus Christ! What the fuck! How did this happen? Six. It's a six. Six. Now, six. Six. Oh, all right. Well done, Dusky. You fucking nerd. <laughs> oh. Oh. Good. Good. Oh. 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 I don't understand it. <laughs> Well done, that gives her the lead, doesn't it? That is not the balloons or the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you haven't done it properly. You destroyed it. <laughs> he did right. pull it apart, Greg. <laughs> Four balloon chain. Sorry, no. The evidence at the end. Look, the yeah, groove. I could, I could say the same of this. <laughs> uh, two people were tied in second place, but they weren't Mel because she wins the episode with twenty points. Oh! Mel is the proud winner of loads of stuff to brag about. Oh. Please, Mel. <laughs> she gets all the uh, bloody um, guinea pig certificates and medals and shit. <laughs> She is so friggin' awkward. She's about to like break all that shit. <laughs> is she like a com I know she's not like a comedian, she's more just like a personality, but is she somebody that's seriously just that like manic and because <laughs> she's tripping over stuff all the time? If she if that's all an act, she is fantastic at it. But I don't think it is. I think she's just somebody that is just kind of high strung in a really bubbly and friendly kind of way but this was a great overall episode the basketball on the treadmill was a lot of fun the painting challenge was very interesting i i, I mean you got to do painting challenges when you've got no fielding on there because he's very very talented the team task that was good it was just good like senseless violence <laughs> in the end they both ended up just going nuts and just launching everything they could at this friggin target which i think was the point and it played out perfectly and that final live task oh my god that was so hilarious making them make eye contact while they were what made it look like they were all beaten off there's basically what what i took from that anyway i thought that was hilarious i hope they can make more um live tasks that are a little bit uh, there's a bit more of a joke to them instead of just being a straight up challenge i think that's the way to go and i'm keen to see what comes up next but if you want early access to my next episode go to patreon.com slash fwci that's where you can get it five dollar redos a month is all it costs subscribe here on youtube as well and as always everyone be well stay safe look after your friends see you in the next video peace
I think that you are getting mixed up with one of the see-through green ones. I really fucking do. Nah, because Sean gave me a solid green one with a mint. Well, never got you. I love the colour green. I always buy green everything, and I definitely bought a green controller. Do you have a green PS5 controller? Yep. No, you don't. Just because you like green and you buy green things doesn't mean that that automatically made it yours. Except it does. So you're telling me it's a coincidence that I like green things and I just happen to own somebody else's green controller? Is that what you're saying? It's a possibility that you might have um, assumed ownership. I don't know. 